Sup guys, Hey King here bringing you another Death Stranding reaction video, this time to the Breathing trailer. I already reacted to this, uh, but again, if you've seen the other videos, footage got destroyed because the laptop got destroyed, so I had to get a new laptop and now I'm reacting to it again. Yeah, kind of annoying. Plus, the original video was kind of, a uh, sort of got screwed up as well, so, you know, 2, two, two, two plus 2. Shit just didn't go right, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, he had to do it right this time. So 7 minutes and 21 seconds, uh, a lot shorter than the that gameplay one. <laughs> so uh, here we go then, I guess. Uh, starting now. Let's do that again. Ooh, I think there was a bit of cola there on the touchpad. No, don't start now, you bastard. <laughs> Sorry about that. Starting now. Amelia, Die Hard Man. Listen to me. America, oh, voice actress. Someone else's voice is Amelia's going to This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. New America. Amelia. He said Amelin. Isn't it Amelia? What's Amelin? My mother may be gone. My mother, oh. But I'm here. And you, Sam? You're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? Ten years. And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. At the beach. I don't get to grow older. Lucky you. You do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then? You've aged horribly, Snake. Remember about Pistol? I feel like parallels here. No, it's it's sort of a clone. Someone has to succeed, Bridget. Sam. Someone has More to. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Why do you wear a mask? Samantha America Strand. Samantha our new president. America. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. I still say this guy. I still say this guy's a bad guy. I saw all of you when I said him to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. Cliff, Cliff's gonna be a good guy. He's gonna be revealed as a good guy, not a villain. Higgs is gonna be like an anti, anti villain. You know, he's got good intentions, but he just screw up shit. And he's going to be real as the main villain. I'm calling it. You don't want a mask like that and not end up as a bloody villain, you know? <laughs> remember, rem oh, he's got the Dreamcatcher on. Remember remember Zero with the, with the, in MGS3? You know, uh, people were surprised by MGS4 that he became a bad dude or something. It's like, no, MGS3 kind of gives it away. I mean, he's got... He looks like Blowfield for Christ's sake. There's that moment between Snake and him at the end of the game where like they're sort of facing off against each other. It's like boom, hero and villain facing off. Like that wasn't by accident. That was giving you a clue. And I'm seeing the same kind of thing here. I mean, Skullface, like, come on. Anyway. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. Like not see. Three years. But we managed to make it all the way to Edgenot City. So it took them three years to get to that, right? The way to the Pacific. And now we're doing the same thing. Yeah. But then everything went to hell. Doesn't that feel like this game might be very long? And Emily was taken. I'm gonna have to pause the video in a second because my battery's about to run out. For Christ's sake. If we can go for four minutes straight, that's great. Taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. Oh, good for you. I just can't leave the city. Why? It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. That's what her keepers are saying. Edgenot City is independent. They want the UCA to leave and be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Assholes, what do you expect? Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Higgs. Right. 
Nothing's off limits for them. Not even in the this, this, this shot coming up. So great how oh, it's designed like that was such a cool shot. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. Mm. No one organization to And they got that whole feral get up going on. Ideology. So Egyptian mythology for them. Then we've got Hades, the underworld, the limbo sections, the purgatory sections, basically. Americans don't come together again. And there's obviously some sort of Greek vibe properly going on. Maybe even Norse mythology. You'd have to wonder. Message to people all across the country. Connection refused. Connect. Not everyone was willing to accept it. Huh. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Swam to the rest of the world. To themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. I feel like if this was MGS six and it took place off the guns of the Patriots, put them in shackles. This would have been about me. It would have been about one of the main characters trying to save America off the Patriot system collapse and reconnecting everyone and dealing with the aftermath of that. That's what we need right now. Though when MG Surprising says otherwise, so <laughs> but that's sort of like not canon. Yes, it is canon because it's spin-off, so it's kinda of for you to decide, but you to go west and finish what Emily started. But I wonder the people she left behind have been hard at work setting up Cairo network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. A Cupid. Right, that's what that thing is called, a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. We're definitely going to start Cupid the game when Bridget's alive, I assume. People of our great nation. And something's going to happen. You get to Edgenot City. And that's going to be the prologue section of the game. And then we're going to get to this point. There's definitely a lot that we're not seeing here, but... After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Maybe Bridget's actually the main villain and she's sort of taken Sam, over. We need you. It's, it's a Japanese Sam, game, but Bridget there's always a twist like that where, where the final villain is this like mysterious or unexpected person. You all saw that. And it's stories like this, like where, where the old person supposedly dies, it always ends up being the old person who's actually still alive, so. Wait. <laughs> Sorry if I'm talking a lot, but like, I, just, I just want something to say after I think I'm not even here. Uh, as it ever was. He's a very detached person from what I've read for about his character, like from what David said. He doesn't like people touching him as well, so that's that. That's one of the aspects of his character. It's a great video, it's a great gives you a good idea what the story's about, what's supposed to happen. I can't wait, I can't wait to play this. Anyway guys, battery's about to die, so for the players anyway but battery's about to die so guys as always like and subscribe whatever and i shall see you when i shall see you take care and bye